Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. Today we're going to be taking a look at another wishlist item from the app, uh, the stock Apple Music app, and that's mixing songs from different playlists together. Well known by now that Apple Music Desktop has a fairly robust smart playlist setup. I've got a whole video about how I have that set up and feel free to check that out. But one gripe that's held me back until a couple of years ago is the fact that you can't make a smart playlist that pulls in tracks from other playlists. Well, let me back up a little bit. You can do this, but for some reason it'll only work locally on your computer and it won't be available on your devices after you create it. Enter, yep, you guessed it, Marvis Pro again. Link in the description as always, highly recommend this app. And today we're gonna take a couple of different sections and what we'll do is we'll make mixes of songs from different sources and then adjust those songs to our liking. So the first absolute basic way of representing this is something that's asked for a lot and that's filtering a playlist down. Now I think that I have gone over that in a prior video, um, but if you haven't seen that, um, click on a playlist here and you can take any playlist this has 195 songs and you can click on these two little um, sideways arrows right there you're able to add smart rules which are just another name for filters and you can go in and add different things there um, so you could filter out um, you know genres let's say or something like that um, so I do use something similar to this However, what I found is that I'm not gonna go in and do this for different versions of the same playlist. And this is really where song mixes can help out a lot is by creating uh, different views of the same playlist or of your library or different things like that. So let's say that uh, I wanna take this playlist, which is all the songs that I've found over the last uh, month or so here. And what I wanna do is let's say filter out metal music because for some reason there's people out there who don't want to listen to metal all the time. Um, so what I'm going to do is instead of doing that in here, let's say that I'm in the car and my wife is with me and we're just relaxing, uh, I'm not going to go in here, click on this, click on smart rules, add, filter out genres uh, because that's just going to take too much time and then I'm going to have to go undo it when I just want to hear my normal playlist again. So what I'm actually going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to create a new mix that takes care of that same thing. So what I'm gonna do is click on add, I'm gonna click on library right here, and it's gonna be a library of songs. So I don't wanna do playlist because that would be for representing different playlists and filtering down to which ones show up here. What I'm gonna do are songs, which is like creating a smart playlist. And I'm going to head into this library here. <clears throat> What we'll do is click on the filters options and we're going to click on smart rules. And then so the first one we're going to do is get our base um, of where the songs are going to come from. So we're going to filter by playlist and we're going to select the found sounds over the last month playlist. Now if I back out of here, that's going to narrow down my whole music library of songs to just those ones. You can see 195 songs, matches, same thing. Um, this isn't that useful. This is the exact same as the playlist, just represented differently. This will update as that playlist updates. But again, by itself, this isn't really something that I'm going to be using in its current state. So what we're going to do now is we're going to narrow it down again. And this is where we're going to add the way that we can filter out any heavier music. So let's click on add and let's click on genre contains and we'll do metal in there. So if I click out of here again, I did the opposite, <laughs> so pretty good use. So if I wanted only my metal songs from the last month or so ago, this is where um, I would be able to do it that way. So if I go back in here, let's do contains and change that over to does not contain. And perfect, 176 songs. I could rename this um, to be something like last month with no metal, which I think I have a mix like this. Um, so really quick way to have this on hand to take a playlist and just have a pre-filtered uh, version that will update as that playlist updates as well. Now one other thing to show you here um, in Smart Rules, let's say that you don't have Smart Playlist set up. Let's say that you are um, somebody who's, you know, an iPad is a computer and I don't have a Mac. Um, you can easily replace this first section by just putting in a couple manual filters. So I could do um, date added as the base and we'll say in the last 31 days uh, I think mine is 30 so we might get some different results here and then we'll click on add filter and we'll say that love is loved 
if I can track that one down, there are so many options. So it can be, here we go, like status is loved. Um, I'll move this one down just to kind of filter it by larger to smaller. And you can see the end result is the same, 176 songs. And then the last thing is, um, if you are like me, if you did see my other video on creating different smart playlists and creating genre playlists and things like that, um, metal isn't the only heavier music that I have in my library. There's about five or six genres that I use to categorize it. So I can actually get rid of this and I can use a playlist um, in reverse to filter out. So I can do playlist is not and then select from my genres and I can select heavy. And this may filter out a few more songs, actually. Yep, there were seven songs in there, probably hard rock or something along those lines. So just a, another way to be able to use playlists, you can filter out um, things. So you could filter out your last month's songs instead of having it be the base filter, um, only giving you songs that you aren't currently listening to in other ways. So that is um, just a quick way to, to get a playlist view and uh, have different things happen to it without having to go into that playlist and set that up every time. Let's change gears here for a second to more of a discovery mode. So Apple Music has a ton of amazing playlists out there. I really love the hand-selected music that uh, goes into those playlists. So one of my favorite things to do is find different playlists of theirs that feel similar and combine them. Uh, there's typically a lot of overlap between the different playlists. Um, so for me to be able to kind of combine them into one view and just have one representation of songs instead of duplicates from different playlists is really, really helpful for me. Um, this one, rather than walk through creating it from scratch, I'm actually just going to use, um, take a look at some of the rules that I already have set up in one of these mixes for more of kind of a discovery mode. So these are going to be more songs that aren't already in my library, and I've combined them together um, so that I can kind of just experience a number of different playlists all at the same time. So I'm going to open up my mix of new rock songs right here. And if I click over here on the options for this, and then on smart rules, you're going to see that I have a couple rules groups, actually. So rule groups are a way to create a set of filters inside of a filter. And they're really useful for if you want um, any number of things to be okay, but then other things to be more static. So the reason I have it set up this way, and we'll start here with playlists. Um, is because I want to be able to pull in songs from any of these four playlists into this new rock songs uh, mix right here. And so what's really important is I can add all these um, inside this rule group, and then I can change this down here from all rules, so it would need to be songs that are in all of these, over to any. So as long as a song is in any one of these playlists, it'll show up in here. But if I did that on this main front screen right here, then it, would, um, it wouldn't it would take into account all of these other rules that are really important to me. So um, that's kind of the, the main crux of being able to create a mix of different playlists is to create a rule group. And this is actually, I've renamed this, which you can do by sliding to the right here. You have a couple different options. You can disable it to kind of see what the effects are in the back. You can duplicate it so that you can adjust different things and you can actually rename um, that. So I have it named playlist just so at a glance I can kind of see um, what's going on there. And then uh, my second uh, rule group that I have in here, again, because I want any of these things to be okay uh, without messing up the play count is zero and in library is false. So I created a second rule group, which you do by clicking add and then rule group right there. Um, so that's that's what it looks like to create one. The second one is for genres. And I found that with a lot of Apple's rock slash indie playlists, they have a lot of kind of R&B and soul and pop, which I do like. But I really wanted this mix to be more for a rock type based. So I have these genres that I've kind of identified as being the primary ones that Apple seems to use. And sure enough, I mean, if you see in the background here, it, it's created 428 songs. It's not a perfect solution. Uh, there's still definitely some songs that are mislabeled as rock or indie that are um, kind of more like R&B type music. But that's okay. You know, as long as it's mostly correct, we'll be all right. Um, so, so far what we've done is we've combined all of these playlists together and then we've filtered it down so that only these are the genres that are acceptable. And then the next thing that I have is play count is zero. So I have this set up so that these are truly new songs for me. 
Um, this is largely effective with songs that aren't in your library. Marvis does a pretty good job of being able to catch plays of songs that um, aren't in your library. In order for the play count in the song to update so you can actually see it, it does need to be in the library. Uh, but this has still been largely effective in my experience. I have, If I listen to a song in this playlist, it usually doesn't show up um, after it passes that, that one play count. And then the last filter that I have here is in library, which, I mean, this just means that the songs that are going to show up in here are not also in my library. And you can see that that's accurate because on the right here, there's all these pluses, which would mean that I am able to add that to my library. Um, so that's what that filter does at the bottom is it's going to make sure that anything in this playlist is going to be just new music to me and that's it. So those are the, the rules that I have here. You can kind of combine any playlist that you want. You could even include playlists from your own library. If that was the case, you'd probably want this in library to be, you would just not want this as to be a filter right here. Um, I do have a number of kind of ways that I combine playlists within my own library. And that's something I will go through in a future video. I have some pretty complex mixes that I'm really proud of and make my life really easy. Um, but for now, this is just a quick way to combine, you know, two or more playlists into one type of thing. You could also not have the genres thing here if you didn't care about that. Um, so this is kind of the base for getting that set up. And then if you go back to this main option screen right here, now I have it shuffled here. You can sort by artist or things like that. Um, but I've mentioned this before and what's really important on this one is that you have the extended library right here. You have that turned on and that's going to enable songs to show up in this mix that aren't just in your actual Apple Music library. I've talked about that before, but this is absolutely integral for music discovery because if I have this turned off, nothing is gonna show up on here just by the nature of the rules I have set up. I have in library as like, it needs to not be in my library, but if you don't have extended library on, then it, it's not able to pull in music that's not actually in your library. Um, so that's pretty much it. These are just a couple of basic song mixes to get things started. Like I said, I'll be going more in depth into some advanced song mixes that have layers upon layers, and I'll probably be dedicating a video to each one of those. So definitely stay tuned for that and keep messing around. If you find anything that you found super helpful, feel free to leave it in the comments, but uh, other than that, we'll be talking to you soon.